Ooh, hello. <laughs> Hi, it's Brenda Baller. I am um, hanging out inside my car, and in just a minute, I'm going to be going into, I'm going to flip this around. You can see Stray Cat Lounge. So I am, I've been driving around all day, and, well, not all day, really, I should say. I've been going back and forth to some different appointments today, and I'm starting to listen to more books on CD, and right now I'm listening to, um, Gosh, what's his name? Gary Vaynerchuk? Am I saying his name correctly? I'm listening to him right now, and he's it's the book called Crushing It, and he's talking about how entrepreneurs um, can kind of break through and be successful, and one of the techniques he was talking about as I was listening today, he was talking about doing more videos and talking about your journey. And um, those of you who have been following me are, um, you know, I love you guys for following my journey and for being supportive. Um, you know, I have to say it's not all sunshine and roses. There are day, some days where I'm like, what the heck am I doing? And it's hard work and, you know, sometimes it feels like it's nonstop, but I absolutely love what I'm doing. I'm so happy to be here and where I'm at. And, um, you know, being on this journey has just been an absolute blast. But, um, you know, so today I'm getting ready to go into this Sterling Heights Chamber event and I'm going to be doing a, a brief talk on the importance of your LinkedIn headshot. So, um... This is at, like I said, the Stray Cat Lounge. So I think we have access to AV inside, but I was a little bit skeptical about what the noise level would be like. So I didn't want to have a PowerPoint slide prepared behind me. So instead, I'm bringing a handout with me. And I'm going to show you here. What I did is I prepared this handout a little bit earlier today, went over to FedEx Kinko's, and here's what I'm going to be handing out. And I have some of these really fun photos of me throughout the years. Um, and the other thing I want to show you is today is National Cherry Pie Day. So if you know me, you know that I love pie. So I'm going to be doing a fabulous little giveaway here. Let me see if I can open up the bag and show you guys what I got. I be rustling here. All right, so here's what I have. I have this fabulous, let me flip it around here. It's a fabulous little cherry pie. It's like a cherry crumb pie. I don't know if you can see it. Um, so I had an excuse to go to Grand Traverse Pie today and pick up this wonderful pie. And because it is National Cherry Pie Day today, I rewarded myself with my own slice of pie. I got a wonderful slice of cherry pie and a cup of coffee to go with it. So, had a little bit of a break there, had some pie, checked up on some emails, went on LinkedIn, and now I've gotta get ready to go inside. And I'm hanging out in my car here and I gotta just you know fluff my hair up a little bit, maybe put some makeup on here in a second and then I'm gonna head inside. And we're talking about the pro, the importance of your professional headshot on LinkedIn. And I love doing these uh, speaking engagements. I love being in front of groups and opening people's eyes to the power of LinkedIn and how to use LinkedIn effectively. Um, and I have to say, uh, you know, one thing some people don't know about me is that I'm introverted at heart. So whenever I am speaking, I love speaking. I look forward to the opportunity, but also right before. I go into a speaking gig. I still get nervous, you guys. I still have a little bit of butterflies in my stomach right now. Not really sure what to expect there in terms of who's in the crowd, um, how well my message will be received. But I know going in there, I'm going to be sharing some tips with people that um, that need to hear this information. And if I walk out of that room and I have helped one person to see things differently, I know that it's been a successful night. And I know it's gonna be more than one person that is um, appreciating the information that I share tonight, but that's my goal. You know, I just have to walk out knowing that I, I'm gonna hopefully make a, a positive impression on those folks. I'm also gonna be joined by a few other people that I know through the Sterling Heights Chamber. And um, Jennifer Sutherland is co-presenting with me, so I think I'm going first and she's kind of second in the lineup. And Jennifer is completely awesome. She referred an opportunity to me uh, last year that led to another opportunity. So um, speaking, you know, leads to more speaking. So that's why I love doing speaking engagements. Um, sometimes they're paid, sometimes they're non-paid, but I think it's great visibility and it gives you the chance to share your expertise with people and share your insights. So I'm gonna get ready to go inside right now, but in summary, <laughs> Um, need to fluff the hair a little bit. I'm gonna put some lipstick on here in a second. I don't think I can hold the camera and do the lipstick at the same time. I'm not that talented yet. But I need to make sure my energy level is up. I've got my pie in the car here with me. I've gotta go grab my pie tin because I'm gonna be doing a business card drawing 
for a free pie during tonight's presentation. So for those people who are gonna be inside, they get a chance to win a free cherry pie to celebrate National Cherry Pie Day. So very exciting things happening there. And they're gonna get some free LinkedIn tips. They're gonna get a copy of my handout. I am going to try to post my handout as a document on um, my LinkedIn tonight too. So if you're seeing this and it's after six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, whatever it is, on what is today let me think about this for a second I think today is Wednesday um, February 20th and my talk is gonna be starting at about 630 tonight I'm gonna try to do a Facebook live I'm not sure how the audio is gonna be inside what the noise level and what the lighting will look like so there may be a chance you can see my presentation live um, if there is I'm gonna record it I push it up to Facebook live not as much because I'm expecting people are going to be watching me live. I put it on Facebook Live so I'm not using space on my phone because when you put it on Facebook, it records it right up to the Facebook server. And then the cool thing is later on, you can actually pull the video down and then you can upload it into YouTube. I can put it on other social media channels. So I'm using it as a little bit of a, um, like a, a workaround so that I don't have to use up all the memory in my phone. Hey, Ara, how you doing? So, um, I'm going to be going inside in just a minute here. I'm probably going to walk with my camera a little bit. I don't know what the setup will be there. And I never like to put people on video who aren't aware that I'm going to spring the camera on them. Now, if it was Ara, I would put Ara right on camera. And I would have no problem with that. He is a very outgoing person, um, huge character, great personality, and I know he would love the attention. But I don't know if um, the other folks are going to feel the same way. No, Ara, I'm not driving. I'm Actually, I'm going to turn the camera on. I am sitting outside in the parking lot getting ready to go inside an event. And I'm doing a little bit of a Meller marketing behind the scenes. It's kind of like the VH1 behind the music, right? But I'm not quite that rock star level. I'm just having some fun here. Um, and what I shared with folks is that, you know, I, um, I have a little bit of anxiety before I go and do speaking gigs, even though I love doing them. And I want to make sure I am feeling comfortable and polished. So I'm going to take a minute gather my breath and um, fluff up my hair and makeup and head inside here and get ready to give away this fabulous pie. So uh, that's it guys. Thanks for watching and um, we'll see how this goes tonight. And I might do more of these videos behind the scenes in the future too. We'll see what, what happens and uh, what kind of reaction I get to this video. But I think I might do a little bit more of them because I can help to document um, my before and after with the events and then I can also uh, share some additional kind of tips and techniques and things like that like I've done in this video. Ara, I am not a bourbon gal. Uh, I would actually love to have a martini like a chocolate martini or you know something um, fruity like a Cosmo or something like that but um, one I'm presenting and um, I'm a lightweight so one martini would about do me in and then secondly, it's a school night, Ara, right, and I've got to get home and I've got to get on the roads in a little while here. So I think I'm just going to have a nice cranberry juice tonight and call it a day. And some other night I might come back out for my martini. They've actually got a nar uh, mar martini on their sign in the front over there. I'm going to show you guys that in just a minute. So um, I think that's it. I'm going to gather my things and start to walk in. You guys are going to walk with me right now. So get ready for this. Everybody got their jacket on because it's cold outside right now. And I don't know who we're going to bump into in the parking lot. There's a chance we could bump into other attendees that are hanging out and getting inside. Um, I may bump into some of my co-presenters out here in the parking lot. I think I already saw Scott Lawrence walking in. Scott is the photographer who's going to be giving headshot photos to today's attendees. So he's already inside. But you're going to come with me and walk with me until I get inside the door. All right, it is a beautiful, blustery, if you will, winter day here in Michigan, blustery. If you've ever read Winnie the Pooh books, you know that he always talked about it was a blustery spring day or a blustery day when they're flying the kites outside. So that's what it is right now. It literally is a blustery day here in Michigan. All right, so here's what I'm doing right now. I'm grabbing my laptop in the event that they do have Wi-Fi inside the building so that I can pull up LinkedIn and show some techniques live. I'm also going back into the front seat right now because I always carry some business cards with me. And guess what? I'm out of business cards. So presenter tip, always throw extra business cards inside your vehicle 
so when you're out and about presenting, you have cards to bring with you. I think I'm fresh out. Can you believe that? Check one other place. What I like to do is I like to stash business cards in different places. Sometimes I put them in my tote bag. Sometimes I put them in my computer bag. And then I'm pleasantly surprised when I open up a pocket somewhere and I'm like, oh, look, I hid some business cards here. I don't remember putting them there. So let's see. I think I've got, yep. Let me see if I can put this camera on so you can see. So inside my little pad folio here, I've got a couple of business cards in here. Some other people's business cards. I don't want to hand those out, but I've got a couple of my own that are in here. And I've got a nice, nice little sticker that I need for social media pie. Look at that. I'm going to bring that inside with me too. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Got my business cards. Got my pie. And I got my wallet. And inside this lovely tote bag right here, you're going to see I've got a tripod. I always keep this in the back of my car. And I've also got this pie tin. Look at how cute this is. Let me dump that paper out. It says, kitchen made fresh baked pies. So what I do when I give away my pie is I pass around the pie tin first to collect business cards. And then I pull a business card and that person wins the pie. And the rules I have are that you have to be present to win the pie. So if you drop your business card in and then you leave, you don't get the pie. Sorry, that's just how Miller Marketing rules. Okay, so I think we got everything inside the car. This is fun. You can watch like the behind the scenes, me getting all of my collectibles and items pulled together. And that's it. Okay, lock it up and we'll head in. All right, so we're gonna head over here now to the Stray Cat Lounge. I see other people walking in the parking lot. They're probably wondering who this crazy lady is who's talking and walking with her phone. I see people looking around. I see people in suits in their car out here right now too. So they're probably wondering uh, how many people are gonna come out because it's such a lovely, blustery winter day. So here it is, straight out lounge. They're not going inside here, but look, they're doing a martini cup right up on the top over there. And I'm kind of stalling a second because there's a gentleman walking in front of me and I don't want to tape him here. All right. It's definitely cool outside. You got snow on the ground. This is Michigan for you. Cannot complain. Ooh, ambiance. Very dark inside. So I don't know how bright this is going to be. I think it's going to be it. It's very dark, so you're not going to be able to see when I walk in here. So I'm going to wrap this off now. Um, thanks for watching, and come on back later, and hopefully we can do the live version. Thanks. Bye.